Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are making one of my favorite keto lunch recipes and that is low carb keto grilled cheese. Now we're not gonna be making just an average run of the mill low carb keto grilled cheese today. We are making a keto grilled cheese sandwich from scratch in just 10 minutes. It actually might even be a little less than 10 minutes. So this recipe, it's pretty crazy, it's pretty delicious and I can't wait for you guys to try it. That said, let's jump right into the good stuff make some grilled cheese. All right, so if we're making grilled cheese and we're doing it from scratch, you know we gotta make some bread. So as you're seeing here, to do that, we're gonna add three quarters of a cup or 86 grams of almond flour to a large measuring cup. Then when we've added that, we we'll wanna add two thirds of a scoop or 22 grams of unflavored protein powder as well. And don't try to substitute more almond flour in place of this stuff because it's just not gonna work. Anyways, I wanna lightly sweeten up the bread for the grilled cheese as well. So to do that, we're gonna add two teaspoons or six grams of confectioner's swerve to the mix. And then to add some chewiness, wanna add a teaspoon or two grams of xanthan gum. Lastly, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking powder and just a pinch of salt. So that's it for the dry ingredients. Now I wanna whisk those until they're combined. And then we're gonna add the last ingredient to the mix and that is gonna be just less than a half a cup or 100 grams of water. Now at this point, I wanna mix everything with our spatula until a thick batter forms. And then once it does, we're gonna coat a five by five glass dish thoroughly with baking spray. Then when that's prepped, I wanna scoop out the bread batter from our measuring cup add it to the dish, and then evenly spread it out the best we can. By the way, wetting your spatula with a little water throughout this process can really help you work the batter around the dish because it can be quite sticky. So definitely keep this in mind when you get to the step. Anyways, when that's all set, we're gonna cook the bread for our grilled cheese in the microwave. So what I recommend doing is cooking it for a minute, then checking on it, cooking it for another minute, then checking on it again, and then cooking it for one last minute. Then once the bread is done cooking and it's got a firm top to it, that's when we're gonna let it cool down and just kind of rest in the dish. Once it's cooled, we can remove it from the container and use a very thin bread knife to cut it in half. At this point, we wanna add about a tablespoon of butter to the pan and melt it over medium low heat. Now. This next step is the pro move to getting your grilled cheese perfectly toasted. And that is cooking the bread with the inside part of it faced towards the pan. The bottom and top of the bread just won't toast as nicely as the inside will. So those are the sides we'll wanna add our cheese to and we'll wanna use for the inside of our keto grilled cheese. That said, the bread toasts pretty quickly. So after about a minute of cooking, we can assemble the sandwich in the pan and then we'll just help the cheese melt a little bit by adding a splash of water. Then we're gonna trap some of the steam in there by covering the pan and after about 30 seconds or so, we can give the keto grilled cheese one last flip and cook it for another 30 seconds. Then we can remove it from the pan and there you have it, a perfectly toasted and buttery keto grilled cheese sandwich. As always, for more info on today's recipe, check out the video description below, and I hope you enjoy it. 